Hi, my name's Lauren Penny from the Hockey Performance Academy and today I'll be speaking to Cameron Lay from England who joined the Hockey Performance Academy about four years ago. I'll be catching up with him as he shares his journey of how he overcame low confidence as a 15-year-old to now, four years later. I just want to say thank you Cameron for joining us today. Um, obviously we first got in touch about four years ago. So um, do you mind just sharing a little bit about where you were four years ago, what it was like for you back then uh, before we got in touch? Um, and some of the things maybe that you were struggling with at that time. I was doing kind of all my regional trial stuff for like age groups and all that and I just wanted to kind of improve my confidence mainly was why I started the programme. That was kind of the main thing, my confidence and mental game I think needed to improve but it kind of helped with everything. And how did you know that uh, this was an issue? Because I think a lot of the time people don't always realise it until you start to identify that it's an issue. So how did you realise for you that this was something you needed to work on? So it's just like going to all the regional trials and seeing all the other boys around me and how much more confident in their own ability they seemed. And I was like, it, it kind of made them stand up as a player as well. And when you're going through trials like that, if you can stand out because you're confident, I think it makes a really big difference to your game and also to how the coach perceives you to be. And would you say that that's something you've now overcome or are you still working on it? Yeah, I think I've come a long way. There's still progress to be made. There always is, isn't there? But yeah, I think I've definitely improved my confidence over the last two years. And what kind of things, uh, maybe give me some examples of how being more confident has helped you personally on the hockey field? Uh, it just kind of makes you back yourself more. Like if there's a shooting opportunity on, you don't even hesitate, you just do it because you believe that you can score. Or like if there's a tricky pass on, but it will create a goal scoring opportunity, you will risk it because you believe that you're good enough to make that pass instead of just kind of play it simple, just like sometimes you have to make it last believe in yourself. Yeah, and what would you say changed for you? So were there any kind of key moments or kind of breakthroughs or things that you started doing that, that helped you to improve your confidence? Um, I think my confidence definitely started to improve like as soon as we had like, the confidence module within the um, programme, but I guess it kind of started to improve just throughout the trials, but then I didn't notice it until recently when I came to uni that like how much it's changed like how much more outgoing I am because like obviously meeting new people at hockey in halls on my course and meeting so many new people it just gave me the confidence in like everyday life as well to just speak and be myself. So would you say that the, the, the things that you struggled with was um, more internally kind of your beliefs and confidence around you know your hockey or would you say it was just a general characteristic trait that you had? Probably just a general characteristic, like just generally not the most confident person, but that makes my game because I don't back myself on the field as well as off the field. Yeah, and how are you finding uh, your first year at university since uh, since that time as a 15 year old when we first spoke? Yeah, it's really good. I've had a great time. Hockey's been good, social aspect's been very good. <laughs> yeah, of course, a bit of adapting, right? Yeah. Totally. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, what has been the biggest challenges, um, you know, maybe now adapting into university and obviously playing at a higher level, what have been some of the challenges that you, you've been experiencing? Yeah, definitely moving to university just because there's so many new things. I'm away from home, I'm living with new people, new friends, I'm away from my friends, new hockey club, new coaches, it's just like everything's so different. But for me, I've really enjoyed it, it's been excellent. And um, since obviously we, we worked together so long ago, how would you say that uh, going through the mentorship program um, and working together and uh, the stuff that we, we covered on that, how has that helped you, do you think? Um, so obviously with my confidence, as I've said before, that's, it's definitely helped me with that. But like the whole the structure of the program and like giving you a structured fitness program for you to follow instead of having to just Google stuff or make it up on your own and you don't exactly know what you're doing. But now it's like structured and it's specific and it is exactly what a hockey player needs. It's perfect really. Yeah. So it's been really good uh, catching up um, obviously after all this time and uh, good mm. to see that you're still on track. What is the, the kind of next step for you going forward now? So I want to start pushing to get into my uni first team. So I'm currently playing the second team. I want to start pushing and just become a really big player in this two's team and then just see where it takes me. Yeah. And what advice would you give to, uh, to any kind of teenagers maybe, uh, you know, if you think back to three or four years ago where you were and how far you've come, what advice would you give to, to any players who um, potentially had similar goals to you or 
who are thinking maybe about even doing the programme itself, what would you say to them? Well, I think the most important thing is just play hockey, just play it, enjoy it, try new things as well. Like get out there, try new things, you're still young, there's no pressure for you to be the best player now. Just focus on improving and I do think the programme really will help you with that because it's not just skills, it's not just fitness, it's not just confidence, it's everything and all of them together make such a big impact on your game. Fantastic. Well, it's been really great to, to hear all about uh, how far you've come and all the different things. So thank you so much for taking the time and for sharing your journey with us. And um, look forward to, to following your progress going forward as well. Thank you. It's nice to catch up.